Okay, so uh, this is another video in the quantum mechanics numerical system series, and uh, this will be a question number twenty-six in this series. Question number twenty-six. Which of the following commutative relations is an R correct? Okay, this is an MSQ question from date. In this case, questions uh, they are really conceptual, and this is one of them. So here, commutative relation, commutation relation will be uh, useful really. Uh, before going into the question, you should know L x is equal to L x L y L z values. L x is equal to what? Y p z minus z p y. Okay, y p z minus z p y. L y is equal to L y is equal to z p x. Z P X minus X P Z. Okay, Z P X minus X P Z, and L Z is equal to L Z is equal to X P Y minus Y P X. Okay, so L X is equal to Y P Z minus Z P Y. L Y is equal to Z P X minus X P Z. L Z is equal to X P Y minus Y P X, right? So we'll do first uh, the first option that is P X P X L Y. Okay, P X L Y will be how much? I'll just put the value of L Y from here. So P X comma L Y is how much? Z P X Z P X minus X P Z. Z P X minus X P Z, right? Now I will just separate them. P X Z P X P X Z P X minus P X X P Z. P X X P Z. Okay, see this is p x p x are there, so this one will become zero, isn't it? Okay, now p x now minus p x x p z. Okay, p x x p z. Now see how to do this one. I will take p z out, so this one will become minus p x x. Then P Z, okay, P X X, P Z. So P X X is what minus I H cut. P X X is minus I H cut. P Z, okay. So this one become I H cut P Z. I H cut P Z. Right. So option A is correct. You can see option A is correct. Okay. Similarly, we'll do the option B also. Let's do option B. L X P Y. Option B is L X P Y. Okay. What is L X? What is L X? What is L X? Y P Z minus Z P Y. Y P Z. Minus Z P Y, comma P Y. Right. Now see again. I will separate them. Y P Z. Y P Z P Y. Y P Z P Y. Minus Z P Y P Y. Minus Z P Y. P Y. See, this one will become zero, isn't it? This one will become zero. All right. This one will become zero. So this is your what? I will take what out. I will take um, P Z out. Right. So this one will be Y P Y. P Z. 
so ypy is what ih cut the answer is ih cut is why i'm taking pz out because why won't uh, like um, ypz is what zero so ypy is only there so ypy is ih cut pz is a pz okay, let's see yeah this is also correct okay if x is equal to y p z minus z p y, you can remember if x is there, here x won't be here. If y is there, here y won't be there. Okay, and the first term will be the order term like y z x y z y z x z x y like that. Second term will be the opposite of the order. You can remember like that. Okay. The next is otherwise see I am writing it again. L x is equal to what? X won't be present, and the first one will be your ordered one y what pz first is a y then pz then pyz isn't it or zpy sorry zpy because second one will be the non-ordered one right zpy now ly ly will be what zpy zpx ordered one minus xpz minus xpz now lz will be what first time is the ordered one xpy xpy minus ypx okay so these are the terms okay what is option c x lz is equal to ih let's see so, I had some slides. Okay. So next is a word. X L Z. Next X L X. X L Z. Again, put the value of L Z here, so it will be X. L Z is how much? Hmm. X P Y. First is the order term. Next is Y P X. Clear? Now just uh, take them separately. X, comma, X P Y minus X X comma Y P X. All right, Y P X. So X comma X P Y is zero. All right. And uh, this one is uh, how much? I will take what out? Yeah, y out. I will take a y out. So x p x x p x. This is y. So x p x is how much? Minus i h cut y. This is there in the option. i h cut y is only there. So this is this should be minus. So this one is wrong. Okay, now LX Z. Let's do it. This one you have to try to do yourself first. You can pause the video. LX Z. So MSQs are good questions to like practice. So many concepts will be used. LX again. Let's write first is the order term Y P Z X Y Z order Y P Z minus second one is the uh, non order one Z P Y. Okay, Z P Y comma Z. Okay, comma z. So I will separate them out again. Why I'm doing it again and again? Because so that like um, to, uh, you will get practice, more practice. Well, practicing you should uh, do elaborately. Okay, do not skip. If you skip, you will forget. You may forget. If you do it elaborately, you will remember for longer days. So this one becomes zero because z z are present here. So this one here, what will I do? I will take y out, isn't it? Y out. So p z into z. P z into sorry p into p z z commutation. 
so pzz is what minus i h cut why because it should be first one should be your position term isn't it so minus i h cut so the answer is minus i h cut y minus i h cut y right minus i h cut y so let's see uh, yeah this is the correct one so, so what answers are correct a b d a, B, D, 2 marks. This is 2 marks. You have to correct everything. Okay. If A, B, D are the answers, you have to co correct A, B, D. Okay. If you miss one, you will not get marks. Okay. Next question. So, it's question number 26. Next is question number 27. Okay. Question number 27. All right. So, how to do it? Let's see. See, the potential is given Vx. This is a linear, you can pause the video if you want. A linear harmonic oscillator of mass this frequency is put out by this one. Okay, AX square minus BX fourth. If first order correction, uh, energy correction to second uh, excited energy level is zero, then A by B in which sense. So VX is equal to AX square, AX square minus BX fourth. Okay, VX is equal to AX square minus BX fourth. So, perturbation is what? Like energy correction is what? E n1, I am writing for the nth state. First order energy correction is equal to what? Expectation value of potential, like the perturbation. Here, the perturbation. Also. So, expectation value of ax square minus bx fourth. Expectation value of ax squared minus bx4 so i can write it as a expectation value of x square minus b expectation value of x4 okay b expectation value of x4 what is the expectation value of x square for um, harmonic oscillator for harmonic oscillator x square expectation value is remember this one x square expectation value is h cut by h cut by 2m omega h cut by 2m omega 2n plus 1 where n is the number of what state like first excited state or like ground state 0 first excited state n is equal to 1 like that x fourth expectation value expectation value x fourth will be how much h cut by h cut by 2m omega square okay and this one will be what 6n square sorry 6 sorry six n square plus six n six n square plus six n plus three right six x six n square plus six n plus three right for example, expectation value of p square. Expectation value of p square will be, you have to remember, that is m h cut omega by 2. It's just this one will change and that will be 2n plus 1 for both of them. m h cut omega by 2, 2n plus 1. And expectation value of p fourth will be what? Expectation value of p fourth will be m h cut omega by 2 m h cut omega by 2 6 n square 6 n square plus 6 n plus 3 okay 6 n square plus 6 n plus 3 so here what is there uh, x square minus b square so a into h cut by 2 m omega and this is a what this is your second excited state so that means this will be 2 n is 2 isn't it n is 2 so into 2 n plus 1 2 into 2 plus 1 right 2 into 2 plus 1 minus b x fourth expectation value h cut by 2 m omega whole square 
to the square. Okay, 6n square plus 6n plus 3 plus 3, right? So put the value in as 2. So you will get it as this one will become 5. So 5a h cut by 2m omega minus b h cut by 2m omega whole square h cut by 2m omega whole square and uh, 6n square if you put 6n square plus 6n plus 3 so if you put uh, 2 in place of n that will be 6 into 2 square that is 24 24 plus 12 36 plus 3 39 okay so this is your 39 right so what is the question the question is first order correction to the second excited state is 0 so this is equal to actually 0 given in the question so if i so what will i do i'll equate it to 0 So now just take to this side, this and that side, that is it. So 5a by 2. See one thing here the answer should be in terms of h cut by m omega, right? So I'll just write it a bit separately h cut by m omega minus okay 39b. Okay. This one is h cut square. I have to do it. h cut square by 4 m square omega square. Okay. I can make it equal because we can go to that side. So, what can I do? You see, this whole thing will cancel with this whole thing and give me h cut by m omega, isn't it? h cut by m omega. So, I can take b to that side. So, a by b. And 5 by 2 will come to right side will become 2 by 5, isn't it? 2 by 5, 2 by 5 into 39 by 4. Okay. So this becomes how much? This is 2, 39 by 10. Okay. 39 by 10, h cut by m omega is there also. So this is what? 3.9. 3.9 h cut by m omega is your answer right this is your answer so answer is 3.9 right yeah next question so the question number was 27 right question number was 27 now it will be question number 28 28 28 okay the Hamilton nervous system is H if the expectation value of a time dependent operator is constant for this which of the following uh, is correct to see um, expectation value of A okay rate of change of expectation value we know that is uh, dA by dt d expectation value of A by dt the expectation value of A by dt is equal to how much is equal to minus i by h cut you remember this minus i by h cut okay and expectation value of commutation of a and h a and hamiltonian a and hamiltonian okay this is called what errand errand first equation plus uh, del a by del t expectation value del a by del a by del t expectation value all right yeah seems see a is constant a t is constant for a state if a t is constant then its complete derivative will be zero isn't it so i can write it as zero is equal to minus i by h cut minus i by h cut 
एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ कॉम्बिटेशन ऑफ ए एच कर एच एच एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू प्लस एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ डेले बाई डेल टी वैल्यू ऑफ डेले बाई डेल टी राइट सो वट कैन यू राइट यू कैन जस्ट टेक टू दिस साइड लेफ्ट साइड एंड I have H cut. I have H cut. Expectation value of commutation of A H. Commutation of A H. Expectation value is equal to delta by delta. Simple. I can take this H cut to that side also. Right. This one will be H cut. Delta by delta. Expectation value. Okay, H cut into delta by delta expectation value. Okay, so this is the answer. So option uh, C or D, which one? Option C because A is coming first here. A should be coming first, all right? Yeah. So this is the answer for question number twenty-eight. Okay, always remember this equation. This is very important. Questions from this always come, and this is also asked in interviews. Okay. Next question. Question number twenty-nine. Question number twenty-nine. Six electrons of mass this are placed in one D moment oscillator of this much. And the ground state energy is E naught. Okay, they are placed in, if they are placed in a one one D infinite potential well of width A, then the ground state energy of the system will be how much? Okay, try this question first. um yourself okay. take your time you can pause the video six six electrons means this is what the fermions right electrons are fermions that means uh in one state how many electrons will be there 2s plus 1 right ac is what is the spin of electron half so 2 into half 2 into half plus 1 that is uh, 1 plus 1 is how much 2 okay plus 1 is One plus one is two, right? <clears throat> so two s plus one is two into half plus one. That is two. Okay. So <clears throat> so if I do first <clears throat> the six electrons, how many states would be required? See, this is six. Ah, uh, six electrons. See, this is one pair here, two, two, and two. So ah. Uh, Three states are required for six electrons, right? And uh, the energy will be what? This is a harmonic oscillator, one D harmonic oscillator. That means n plus half h squared omega. So first one is your half h squared omega. So this is two electrons, two into half h squared omega, right? The ground state energy is six electrons of mass are placed. Each are placed in this one. Okay, so two into half h cube omega. This one will be two into three by two h cube omega. Into three by two h cube omega. Two into five by two h cube omega. Okay. Into five by two h cut omega, so this one becomes one plus three plus five. Okay, because this is this is one, this is three, this is five. So five three eight plus one is nine. So this is your nine h cut omega. Okay, nine h cut omega, but omega is given something here. Omega is given h cut by m m s square. So I can write it as nine. H cut in place of omega, I will put H cut by omega. Mm square. So this be, this becomes H cut square by m s square. Okay, H cut square by m s square. Now, um, the ground state energy of the system will be if the if they are placed in a one D infinite potential well of width a. Okay, one D infinite potential well of width a. Ground state energy of the system will be. If these two these electrons themselves are placed in one D infinite potential, 
so let's see again same thing will be there six uh, they will be divided two 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 right but this one uh, this one energy is different because this is 1d infinite potential well so for that it will be two into n square pi square by h square to like n square h pi square h square, square by 2m square so n is your one so h cut square pi square or pi square h cut square by 2m square okay this one is how much 2 into 4 because n square is 4 here 4 pi square h cut square 4 pi square h cut square by 2m square Okay, this one is how much? 2 into, uh, this is 9, 9 pi square, h cut square, 9 pi square, h cut square by 2 m square, alright. So this is your, uh, 2, 2 will be cancelled everywhere. So this is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 9 pi square h cut square by pi square h cut square by m a square isn't it so this is a what uh, this is going to be 9 plus 4 1, uh, 13 14 so 14 e is equal to 14 pi square h cut square 14 pi square h cut square by ms square okay 14 pi square h cut square by ms square 14 pi square h cut square by ms square all right so i can see um this is suppose a e okay this is your e naught right this is your e naught so um e naught or e i can take it as this is this is take it as e okay because see it's given e naught but they are giving the answer in e so take it as e only this is e only okay e is equal to this much so can i um, get this one in the term of the infinite potential well what will i do i will just do multiply it and divide it right so 14 pi square h cut square This is well infinite potential well, so let's E W by M A square into what is the energy of the uh, oscillator? Nine H cut square by M A square. Nine H cut square by M A square into I will divide it also. That means I will multiply the reciprocate value M A square by 9 h cut square all right so if i do this this see uh this this will be cancelled h cut square h cut square will be cancelled okay this is your completely e so i can write it as see 14 pi square 14 pi square by 9 into e isn't it this is the answer Fourteen pi square by nine. Right? Yes. Next question is question number twenty-nine. Hmm. Hmm. What did you give me? What? What? Okay, so yeah, this was the question we did already, right? Yeah. So these are the questions, okay? That's it for today. Um and we'll solve more questions in the next session, okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.